At some point, you gotta believe I'm not making stuff up and this zigzag curve right here is more useful than you think. After understanding how it works, it's gonna make you think, how was I living without it? Let me share with you a test. Focus on the background right here. Can you see some anomaly there? Something off? Well, apart from the little dust particles here and there and ups and downs, nothing seems to be off. However, let us create our zigzag curve, which is better known as the solar curve. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. And all you have to do is just zigzag. Create a point right here, take it up. Create a point right here, take it down. One good rule of thumb is staying in the middle of these boxes. So if I create a point right here, not here, not there, but in the middle of this box, this is just a rule of thumb. Let's do it one more time and have a look at the background wall. All of those problems right here show up. So the solar curve allows you to see the problems, the dust, the debris, the creases, which is usually hard to see. You can even extend it if you like, all the way through, that is up to you. Let's keep it this way. And now it is much easier for us to deal with them. Now you can remove it if you want, that is up to you. So with the background layer selected, press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. And in here, you can use whatever you want to remove. I'm just gonna use the patch tool because there is a lot of texture and the remove tool might not work as good in cases like these. So I'm just gonna select that and drag it to a place without all that. There you go, done, Control or Command D. And then you can treat different areas differently. Before we get into the next step, some of you might be asking, Unmesh, isn't it the same as visualize spots in Lightroom or Camera Raw? Well, no. With the solar curve, you see all of this, right? So let's turn it off and let us go to filter and then camera raw filter. Lightroom will have the same thing. Now, if you go to the remove section right here and check visualize spots, it helps you see the spots, but all of those signs, they are not really visible. So know the difference between the two. Coming to the next step, you can also combine it with different adjustment layers or blending modes. So let's say in this case, the background is looking fantastic. So let us try creating the solar curve by creating a curves adjustment layer first, and then just create this zigzag curve like so. And you can see all of these problems, but it's so saturated that it's so hard to see. But one of the things you can do is change the blend mode from normal to luminosity right here. This doesn't affect the colors. And now have a look at this. When it was normal, it was so saturated, hard to see. But right now you can see all the details right here, all the creases of the backdrop and everything, all the dust particles. So that is one tip. And now of course you can go to the background and select maybe the remove tool, and then remove all of these little dust particles from all around the image. So that is one way of doing it. There is another way. Go to the solar curve. Actually, let's name this solar curve and change its blend mode back to normal. And just under the solar curve, create another curves adjustment layer. By selecting the background layer, clicking on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. And all you do is create a point in the middle and take it up or down to see the issues more clearly. At this point, I can see the issues in this area. Maybe at some other point, I can see the issues in this area. So you can work through that as well. So I'm gonna take it up slightly so I can see all the dust particles here, close it, and then come back to the background and remove all of these issues like so. You can also use this for retouching purposes. So after you have done dodging and burning, you can look at how you have carved the lights and shadows and fix any issues you might observe. For example, you can clearly see all the blemishes and the ups and downs in here as well. And definitely it goes without saying that after you have done doing all the adjustments, please turn them off or delete it. I just wanted to thank you for watching the video so far. And because you watched the video so far, I have a gift for you. You don't have to do any of this. You can just simply play an action for all of the checklists, not just the solar curve. Check the link in description to download this action and to load it. Inside of Photoshop, go to Window and Actions. Once the Actions panel is open, click on this menu right here, choose Load Actions, locate the action and click on Open. And there we have our check layers action. Select it and play it. All done. Not only the solar curve, but luminosity check layer, saturation, everything is created here as well. So if you want to turn this on, there you go. You can see all of the problems in the background and then fix that. You can also have a look at the luminosity check layer. You can also have a look at the saturation check layer, which tells you which areas are more saturated and which areas are less saturated. 
By the way, if you want to learn more about checklists, there is a video on that right here. So that's all about the solar curve in Photoshop. I hope I was able to throw some solar light into it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Duh!